glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Owls are ranked number one in the nation, but there's a big difference in being ranked number one now and being ranked number one early in the season. Early in the season, you have a little bit of a stumble. You figure everybody else is too, and you've got a chance to get back in the fight. Too late for that now. No margin for error, no room for misstep if you want to finish on top. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you in the half. Smith has the ball, he wants it, and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level and play some more football. Others, they'll be putting the helmet on for the final time. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. The 34 yard line. Close to nine yard pickup there on the slant. That'll make it second in inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Green nine, green nine. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Dawson's looking to get in the record books in this one. He's a very special player, and he really deserves all the praise and awards he could get. Big game for this guy. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Inside the 30. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Inside the 10, makes it to the 5. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Gives it left side. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. It's second and goal. Ball on the five. Makes it up the middle for a nice run. Couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. 
So from a yard out, the offense is going to try to stay on the field here on fourth down and goal. Thank you. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Mike 42, Mike Slings it. And down he goes at the nine. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second. Right here, right here. Mike 42, Mike 42. Check it. They bring him down in the backfield. Oh, the loss is two yards on the play. Third down. From their own seven yard line, it's third down. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down at the 25. to the 25 yard line. No game. That brings up second and nine. Zips it to the back. Tackle at the 29. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Clipping. Offense. Offense. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach down. fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop at the 22. Bonds makes the tackle at the 22-yard line. That brings us third and 12. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's pushed out of bounds at the 31. That's a gain of nine on the play. Fourth down. Eaton is waiting for the snap. And he's taken down at the 48. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Let's go! Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. It's a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. So at the end of one, no score here.
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He's scrambling, and he can't get the pass off, and he's sacked. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Nice run up the middle. if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. the PAT. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Time to check out what's going on in Stillwater. And for Kansas State, they're sleepwalking through this thing. If they don't turn it around, they're going to get into a world of trouble. Washington's a wide receiver's coach's dream with those Velcro hands of his. He scored a touchdown. Oklahoma State leads it 21-10. Well, if that score holds up, that would be water cooler talk on Monday morning. Rice gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. They'll give it off here, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Second and eight. Ball on their own 21. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. their own 17-yard line. Third down. Quick pass going back to his running back. That's a great tackle at the 21. Matthew is the putter. Nailed on that one. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Rice up seven points. Nice run there. Yard line. 
Williamson pick up. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. From the 21-yard line, third down. Throws in the middle. They'll bring him down around the 15-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Rice is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Wildcats arrive at today's game, number two in the nation. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. We've got a tight one going on here. The Wildcats have the lead, 24-21. Well, there's some talk this week that we might see some upsets this week. I don't think you could ever expect that to happen. Though. Smith has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Wilson gives it at the three. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. At this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on their own 26. That quickly incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. Tackle made right around the 34. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Ratliff back deep to return. Ratliff fields it at the 34. Whoa, he just took a lick it. The Owls are sitting pretty now after getting off of that slow start at the beginning. Yeah, things were a little sluggish early, but my gosh, these last few series, they just seem to be at this point just kind of setting a tone and kind of having their way against this defense. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 41 yard line, second down. Inside the 30. Down the 19 yard line. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. Got a man, watch out here. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. Pass 
incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. He caught it, but failed to get that one necessary put in. That's an outstanding catch, and he just missed making a big-time play. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now, remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. And he taps on the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 52-yard drive. And the result, seven points. They line up to kick this one away. Wilson fields it at the two. They'll bring him down at the 23. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And he is drilled at the 41-yard line. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. Nothing doing on the halfback draw. The Roadrunners are going to call their second timeout. sink from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Well, we've played a half of football. The Owls lead it by 17. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Taken from the 10. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? He might have a chance. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He 
was taken down at the 42-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Just throws this one away. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Kicks away. And he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Rice's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. The Cavalry's coming. And he's taken down right around the 40. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. First and 10. Ball on the 40. to the 50. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes. Right around the 46-yard line. He got three yards there on the scramble. Matthews is waiting for the snap. Down at the 29 yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. There's a strike over the middle. And he's tackled at the 40 yard line. to about the 24-yard line. Drops 
set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. That's a great tackle at the 20. down and they'll be looking for six points here. the uprights with the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Wildcats enter today's game ranked second in the nation and knowing that they have a target on their back. This is a game we've been watching closely today. Back and forth they go to heavyweight slugging it out. The Wildcats have the lead 31-24. Well, we've seen some big upsets and that one would measure right up with the best of them. Rice, ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 20-yard line. The Roadrunners are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. it out to maybe the 23-yard line. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Caught with room to work. They'll bring him down at the 34. sit in that pocket. Ratliff fields it at the 34. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Gets out to around the 32. And this game is all but decided. Rice is running away with it. Hey. 
Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. Rice looking to build on his commanding lead here. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Excellent open field tackle. It's second and five here. Ball on the 27. is all about timing and on that play the timing was just off that's going to happen sometimes second and 14 ball on the 25 blue 14 tackle made around the 12 yard line off with a touchdown. Here he goes. Touchdown. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. And he adds the extra point. It was a seven-play, 52-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. The Owls' defense came to play, and, man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Under pressure. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 27. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Three minutes in the game. Black five, Got a man open, and he can't pull it in. defense to snip that one out before it turned into a first down. Matthews to punt. And down he goes at the 43. The Owls just put on a clinic in this football game. Right? Right, you can say that again, Brad. In every phase, the defense has been outstanding. The special teams have been solid. And how about this offense and the way they've executed? It's allowed them to build up a very big lead. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Two minutes to go in this football game. Finley on the right side. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 10. He's in. Another touchdown. 
Well, another score here late in the fourth quarter, but all it does is add to the blowout. This one's over. And he hits the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Wildcats were ranked number two, and after that performance, everyone knows why. And for Kansas State, 11 straight wins. And for Denman, a terrific day. More than 300 yards passing. The Wildcats get the two-touchdown victory. Reese, we're not going to have an exciting finish here, I can tell you that. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. Just over a minute left. Sets up a screen, incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24. Taken down at the 24. Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. You know, in this day and age with the spread and so many offenses being in such a hurry, how refreshing is it to watch an offense just kind of go old school, line up, blow people off the line of scrimmage, and just assert themselves with their personality? I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. Austin's performance won for the books. We expected it to be great, and it was. Isn't it fun when you know coming into a game that you think a player might be able to kind of step up and, and separate himself from the rest of the pack, and then he delivers? Boy, it's been a real pleasure just sitting back and watching him perform today. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.